head bending processes. Sheet metal of different sizes can be bent an innumerable amount of ways, at different locations, to achieve desired part geometries. One of the most important considerations in sheet metal manufacture is the condition of the sheet metal's edges, particularly with regard to the part after manufacture. Edge bending operations are commonly used in industrial sheet metal processing and involve bending a section of the metal that is small relative to the part. These sections are located at the edges. Edge bending is used to eliminate sharp edges, to provide geometric surfaces for purposes such as joining, to protect the part, to increase stiffness and for cosmetic appearance. Flanging Flanging is a process that bends an edge, usually to a 90 degree angle. Sometimes the sheet metal's material is purposely subjected to tensions or compressions, in the processes of stretch flanging and shrink flanging respectively. In addition to bending the edge, these operations also give it a curve. Beating Beating is common in the edge treatment of sheet metal parts and can also be used to form the working structure of parts, such as hinges. Beating forms a curl over a part's edge. This bead can be formed over a straight or curved axis. There are many different techniques for forming a bead. Some methods form the bead progressively, with multiple stages, using several different die arrangements. Other sheet metal beading processes produce a bead with a single die. In a process called wiring, the metal's edge is bent over a wire. How the bead is formed will depend on the specific requirements of the manufacturing process and sheet metal part. Hemming Hemming is an edge bending process in which the edge of the sheet is bent completely over on itself. Seaming Seaming is a sheet metal joining process. Seaming involves bending the edges of two parts over on each other. The strength of the metal resists breaking the joint, because the material is plastically deformed into position. As the bends are locked together, each bend helps resist the deformation of the other bend, providing a well-fortified joint structure. Double seaming has been employed to create watertight or airtight joints between sheet metal parts.